Brian and Vini. Let's get going. We got a Q&A later as well. Can we just skip to that part? <laughs> no way, dude. I got so much to say about this Rampage. This Rampage. What's going on, dude? When you see uh, Rampage doing like 400,000 viewers, nobody cares about Cole Carter yeah. wrestling Darby Allen. I don't care if you shot an angle. Shane Taylor debuts. I know who Shane Taylor is. Yes. I have had Shane Taylor on the show. I remember his team with Keith Lee. I remember them breaking up. I still watched this and went, what? I have no earthly idea who J.D. Griffey is. I can't name all of Ken Griffey Jr.'s children, but uh, maybe this is, I don't, that's my best guess. I'm literally looking at a picture of J.D. Griffey right now. Yes. I still don't know who he is. This sounds like the very definition of hot-shotting a match on Dynamite because the show did not do very well this past Wednesday. I don't like hot-shotting. Hikaru Shida facing the bunny. Yeah. With yet another title on the line. <laughs> I, I actually thought I was watching like a parody of this show when I saw this. <laughs> I have been watching weeks of build for Joe versus Wardlow, and now we're getting Joe and Juice Robinson at final battle? Where is Wardlow? I thought it was his world. Why is he not getting a fucking title match? I don't know. This would have been so good if you just put QT, Marshall, and Orange Cassidy on TV and had them wrestle. It would have been so good without the shenanigans, but I guess AEW is a shenanigans company now, and I mean, it makes me sad. There was a lumberjack out there, and I thought, who is that guy? I rewound it. I have no earthly idea who this man was. Maybe it'll be explained why he spared Ortiz. That's what I was thinking in my head. And then Malakali goes, let's get him. And they fucking left the ring. And Malachi starts beating the shit out of the same Ortiz that he had spared. And at that point, I was like, bro, I don't get anymore. I fucking give up. Thank God this show is over. This was like legit one of the worst AEW shows we've ever seen. This was Russo-rific. I had a dream last night that I spent like a week in Japan with Antonio Inoki. Oh. Wow. It was so weird. I made sure to start immediately when got here so you would not have time to urinate. Why? So you, could, you could start shaking and... Like the kids do, you start moving your leg, and then you start getting all... The other I was just watching an hour and a half of Wheel of Fortune. You know, you've got the wheel, okay? We spin the wheel, right? And then you've got... Wait, Wheel of Fortune? Yeah. Yes, they have a wheel. Okay, and right? Fortune. What the hell is Wheel of Fortune? What? How is the air in the bubble, by the way? <laughs> we should have done a Wheel of Fortune thing now that I think about it. <laughs> Granny would read like G blank blank oh K. And we'd have to return no, to the No, she out, wouldn't. Geek! <laughs> okay, geek! good. Woo. Yeah, so nice. we get a whole bunch of racial slurs on No, it, it wouldn't be air. like that. <laughs> Fine. D blank blank K. Better. <laughs> no, it would not be Dick. All right, let's do the uh, wrestling report, Granny. Uh oh. Always catches her off guard. If there's one thing I can't stand, it's someone not ready for their same thing they do every week. <laughs> she has an excuse, dude. She's 93. What's your excuse? <laughs> All right, you ready? No, now I'm upset. About what? <laughs> Being insulted. No one's insulting you. All right. Now what's going on? I Just lost something again. Shuffling okay. papers. Just a minute here. <laughs> Guys, it's okay to have dead air. You don't have to talk all the time. Tom, do you hear that? I yeah, but Tom has awkward dead air. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Choke hold on Ambrose. Li li lo like sh chairs. <laughs> <laughs> if you ever get lost, just say a word. Am just grab a hold. I wanted to tell you, Brian, I don't care for that side thing that you have or the people have their comments by the way the chat's very disappointed right now uh oh granny turned heel on us what did we do she's talking about us granny hates us what do you call a group of mean chickens the hen double o oh, <laughs> what i don't get it either the hen, the hen w o oh the <laughs> hen <laughs> i like hen double o instead Hello. Oh. what happens when there are two ww superstars but only one bathroom someone is the european champion a bladder match <laughs> that <laughs> that's good and he jumps way up in the air 
His big giant ass comes down on Dubiel's torso. Apparently, uh, Mr. Dubiel here was disrespectful to Mr. Fuji backstage. Well, he learned a fucking lesson. You call yourself Absolute Ricky Starks. You're the absolute drizzling shits. In fact, I may as well call you a Rudy Poo candy ass because you stole everything else from him. You are a dollar store Dwayne. I'm going to call you the pebble. I'm going to get in my Porsche, drive you back, and skip you like a pebble back to the NWA and to YouTube. I laughed. I always thought this guy was super talented. I always thought he was a good promo. But uh, I was not expecting what I got here. Apparently, he had a whole thing written down. And then he got out there and he just went off. And it was like the greatest promo of his career. Oh, yeah. That's for sure. It was one of the greatest promos in the history of Dynamite. He fucking sliced and diced MJF. Yeah. Darby Allen versus Samoa Joe. Jesus Christ. Dude, I watched this match and I thought, if Vader were still around, God rest his soul, he would have been appalled at the rampant, wanton (laughs) violence that he witnessed in this fucking match. He reveals that he had taped... An interview with William Regal. Yes. A few weeks ago, after the pay per view, after Regal turned on Moxley. And uh, people are only going to see this if something horrible happens to me. But when you have lived a life like I have, you are always expecting something bad to happen. This was ridiculous. I feel better getting an explanation for why Regal turned on Moxley. Even if it's completely preposterous, it's a reason. I gave MGF the title. Because then everybody would want to kill him. Yes. Everybody that. already wanted to kill him. <laughs> then he explains, I laid out John Moxley to teach him one final lesson. Watch your back. And then they cut back and John Moxley has a look on his face like, this is fucking preposterous. <laughs> it does not make any sense. So I'm going to cut a promo about something totally different. <laughs> That's what happened. Which is what he did. <laughs> the Briscoes, who were mentioned by name, saying we'll see you Saturday. And oh, by the way, it's going to be a double dog collar match. Huh? What? Why? What? What? Why? Because you're getting FTR versus the Briscoes in a double dog collar match at the Ring of Honor pay-per-view. That's why. Von Wagner versus Axiom versus Andre Excuse Chase. Excuse me. Did you say Von Wagner? I didn't mean to. Is he a Wagoneer? A Wagoneer? What a gimmick that would be. He's a guy that drives a wagon. They went fishing together. (laughs) Apollo actually caught a fish. He looked like he was so excited to catch it. He He was totally out of character. He couldn't believe he caught a fish. He caught a shoot fish. That was the build for the title match. Well, that was was the final build for the title match. They had eggs together. They went fishing together. Yeah, we eat and we fish. A real Christmas story with Pretty Deadly. They're so unrepentantly in love. Yes. yes. These handsome boys stayed up with their bulging sacks of gifts. So I'm trying to figure out how to spell Isla Dawn, and one of my guesses got uh, autocorrected to Eyelash Dawn. So there you go. This feud is Elbow Fire versus Eyelash Dawn now. The Grayson Waller effect. So it's a talk show segment. Then he goes to take questions from Twitter. And they t- put the questions from Twitter up on the screen. I am perversely interested in seeing these two Iron Survivor challenges. It's, it's never been done before. It's never been done. I'm a big fan of clocks. I think the show's going to be all right, but uh, we'll see. There's a lot of stuff coming up Saturday. 